Hi, my name is Anne Chung. I'm one of the rheumatologists here at BJC Health. Today I want to talk a little bit about the diagnosis of rheumatoid arthritis. Um, what are the things that makes us think you might have a diagnosis of rheumatoid arthritis? In fact, the history and what you've been experiencing in terms of your joint symptoms is the most important. When we think about joint symptoms, it falls into two big general groups. One group is osteoarthritis, um, wear and tear, pain from joint injury or overuse, and that's what we call mechanical joint symptoms. On the other spectrum, we have inflammatory joint symptoms, and within that group um, are the conditions that uh, are inflammatory or autoimmune condition, with examples being that of rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, and psoriatic arthritis. So for us to consider you having to have rheumatoid arthritis, some of the symptoms you might be experiencing may be morning pain, morning stiffness more than 30 minutes. You might also be um, experiencing joint pain with joint swelling. So if you have some of these symptoms, it will be important to see a rheumatologist who can, depending on what you're feeling, arrange for you to have additional investigations. And also it will be very important for us to check your joints to see if the pattern of joint pain and the pattern of joint swelling would be in keeping with the diagnosis of rheumatoid arthritis. If we do feel that after examining you um, that you might have rheumatoid arthritis, additional investigations such as blood tests and x-rays with um, perhaps an MRI could be organized to further assess your risk of having the condition. Thanks.